So my name is Richard Symes. I'm a missionary from the United States. I'm from a Baptist church. And what I want to talk to you about today is how to go to heaven when you die. Does anyone in here know if you're going to heaven? Not sure? Okay. So I just want to show you that from the Bible, how to be saved, how to go to heaven. Amen? All right. Now, the first thing that we have to do or that we have to understand, the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And what that means is nobody's perfect, right? I'm not perfect. Are you perfect? No. And the reason that we're not perfect is because we've broken God's commandments. For example, I have lied before. Have you lied before? Yes. Right. So we're all sinners. And God loves us, but God is a righteous God. So there's a punishment for our sins. And this is the bad news first. Okay, are you ready for the bad news? Okay. The Bible says, with the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Now, what do you think the second death is? Is that heaven or hell? Hell, hell right? Now, how long is hell? Is hell temporary or forever? Forever. forever. So you don't want to go to hell, right? Yes. The Bible says if you go to hell, you are tormented day and night forever and ever. And I don't think that you all are murderers. Have you killed someone? No. I don't think that you're sorcerers. Are you a witch or a wizard? No. But the Bible even says all liars deserve to go to hell. And I've lied and you've lied. We've all sinned. So because we've sinned, we deserve hell. But do you think that God wants us to go to hell? No. no. That's what we deserve, but God does not want us to go there. So here's the good news. The Bible says, for the wages of sin's death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, who is Jesus? He's the Savior, right? He's the Son of God. He's the Messiah. Have you ever heard that Jesus is God? You heard that before? All right. And the Bible says God is a trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So one God in three persons. So Jesus is God. Amen? Amen. Now Jesus, he showed many signs and he performed many miracles to prove that he was the Savior. He was born to the Virgin Mary, he cast out devils, he raised the dead, he walked on water. But the most significant thing that Jesus did, Jesus never sinned. Jesus never lied, he never murdered, he never stole. He lived the perfect life that we cannot live. But what happened to Jesus? How did he die? He was crucified, right? The Bible says he was despised and rejected of men, and they nailed him to a cross. And the Bible says that on that cross, he bare our sins in his own body on the tree. God the Father in heaven, he took the sins of the whole world and placed them on Jesus. All of my sins, all of your sins, everyone's sins from the past, the present, and even the future— they were placed on Jesus. And a lot of people don't know this, but because Jesus died with our sins, after he died, he had to take our punishment. And remember, our punishment is hell. We deserve hell, right? So Jesus, after he died, his soul descended into hell, and he suffered for our sins. But what happened after three days and three nights? Did Jesus stay in hell? No. Well, what happened? He rose from the dead, amen? Right? He showed the nails in his hands. He showed his bleeding side. And then he walked on this earth for 40 days and 40 nights. And then he ascended up to heaven, right? 
But even though Jesus did that, the Bible says that most people go to hell when they die. Even most Christians. But it's very easy to go to heaven. Okay? And I think you've probably heard this verse before. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So if you want to go to heaven, there's just one thing that you have to do. There's not a lot of things. The only thing that you have to do to go to heaven, believe in Jesus. Do you understand? Now here's the thing. Most people in this world, and most religions in this world, they acknowledge Jesus. They believe Jesus is real. They believe that he existed. But what the Bible means by believe is that you trust in Jesus. Okay? Now, let me give you an example. And you can tell me if this is trusting in Jesus. Okay? Are you ready? All right. This is not what I believe. It's an example. Okay? Let's say I'm going to heaven because I am a good person. Is that trusting in Jesus or is that trusting in myself? Right, so that's not salvation. I'll give you another example. Let's say I'm going to heaven because I'm a, because I repented of my sins and because I got baptized. Is that trusting in Jesus or is that trusting in myself? Trusting in myself, right? So that's not salvation. Now, baptism is a good thing. Repenting of your sins is a good thing. Being a good person is a good thing. But that's not how you go to heaven. You can't get to heaven by doing good things because we're not perfect. We are sinners that deserve hell. So the only way to go to heaven is to place our trust in Jesus because he was perfect. He did live a righteous life. Do you understand? Yes. Right. Now, this is the really good news of the gospel. Okay, This is the good part. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. So Jesus says, if you believe in him, you have everlasting life. Do you think that's talking about your body or your soul? Your soul, right? How long does everlasting life last? Is it temporary or forever? Forever. So what this verse is teaching you is that salvation is not a process. It's instantaneous. The moment you believe in Jesus, your soul has everlasting life. And everlasting life is forever. So you cannot lose your salvation. Because when Jesus died on the cross, he died for your past sins, your present sins, and even your future sins. Okay? Now, I'm not condoning that you do bad things. Okay? God is not happy if you do bad things. But you're still saved. I'll give you an example. I'm saved. I believed on Jesus almost 11 years ago. But let's say tomorrow I do something bad. Like, I don't read my Bible, or I don't pray, and or I steal something, and then I die. I would go to heaven, because when I believed in Jesus, he already paid for my future sins. Does that make sense? Yes. Right. But once again, God is not happy if you sin. God will punish you in this life if you sin. I'll use a really bad example. Let's say someone committed murder, but they have believed in Jesus. Their soul is still saved. They'll still go to heaven, but God's going to punish them in this life. If someone commits murder, they'll probably go to jail. Am I right? Right. But their soul is still saved. They'll still go to heaven because salvation is forever and it's free and it's instantaneous. Does that make sense? Right. Because how many sins did Jesus die for? Did he die for some sins or did he die for all sins? All right. sins. So the moment you believe and you accept the gift of salvation, all of your sins are washed away. Amen? Amen. All right. Now, is Jesus Christ a liar? No. no, Jesus is not a liar, right? So this is a promise from Jesus right here. This is in the Bible. This is uh, 1 John 5.13. It says, These things have I written unto you 
that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life. So this, this Bible verse right here, it says, you may know that you have eternal life. And you can know that by believing in Jesus, the Son of God. Do you understand? All right. So let me just make sure. Let me give you a quick quiz. Are you ready? All right. So according to the Bible, what is the one thing that you must do to go to heaven? You can all just say it, everybody. Exactly, right? And I'm not trying to offend anyone with this. Okay, I'm just trying to tell you what the Bible says. But I think you've heard this verse before. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So what that means is Jesus is the only way to heaven. I can't take you to heaven. My church can't take you to heaven. Um, another God cannot take you to heaven. A religion cannot take you to heaven. But faith in Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Amen? Amen. Now, once you believe in Jesus, how long does he save you for? Does he save you temporary or forever? Forever. All right, let me give you an example, okay? Let's use my friend here. What's your name? What? Daisy, okay. Let's say Daisy believes in Jesus today, and Jesus saves her soul forever. But Daisy never goes to church. She never reads the Bible. She never repents of her sins. She never gets baptized. And then she dies. But she had believed in Jesus, and Jesus washed away all of her sins. Would she go to hell or heaven? Amen. She would go to heaven, right? I'll give you a harder one, okay? And once again, I don't want you to do bad things. I'm just giving you these examples to make sure you're believing in Jesus and not in your good works. Do you understand? All right. I'll give you a harder one, though. Let's say Daisy believes in Jesus today, and then, God forbid, she gets really mad at someone, and she commits murder. And then she even commits suicide, God forbid. But Daisy had believed in Jesus Christ, and she got saved. Would she go to hell or heaven? She'd go to heaven, right? So let me help you out with this one again. How many sins did Jesus die for? Did he die for some sins or all sins? All sins. Right? So that includes murder. That includes suicide. That includes stealing. That includes lying. And here's the thing. You know, suicide is very bad, right? But suicide kills the body. Jesus, he saves your soul. Amen? And how long does Jesus save your soul for? Temporary or forever? Forever, right? So you cannot lose your salvation. Even if, this is the most extreme example, okay? Let's say Daisy believes in Jesus today, and then 10 years later, she gets really depressed, and she starts to doubt her faith. She would actually still be saved. Because, once again, salvation is not a process. When you believe in Jesus one time, that moment you're saved forever. And the Bible says nothing can separate you from the love of God. Once you believe in Jesus, you can never lose your salvation. Because you become a child of God. Like, have you ever heard the, the term born again? Right. Now, I'll tell you how to be born again. It's the same way. Okay, The Bible says, whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. And that's talking about a, a spiritual birth. Okay, Now, we were all born physically. How old do you think I am? I'm 31. Okay, So I was born physically 31 years ago. And growing up, I was not perfect. My parents had to punish me. Because I ran away from home before, I told my parents I hated them before, I beat up my little brother before, and my parents punished me. But was I still their son? I was still their child, right? And that's the same way with God. When you believe in Jesus, you're born again, and you become his child. And if you're disobedient, he will punish you. 
Like I said, if you, uh, if you commit murder, you're probably going to go to jail. If you do drugs or if you drink alcohol, you're going to mess up your life. God's going to punish you. But if you died, you would still go to heaven because you're a child of God. Do you understand? Right? So once you're saved, you're always saved. Now, do you understand that you're a sinner? Yeah. But you believe that Jesus is God? Yes. Do you believe he died for your sins? Yes. Do you believe he rose from the dead? Yes. Right? Now, this is probably different than what most of you believe. Okay? Um, I haven't talked to each individual, one of you, but I just know from talking to, to many people, most people, what they trust in to go to heaven, they trust in baptism, they trust in being a good person, they trust in repenting of their sins. But that's not salvation. Salvation is when you trust in Jesus Christ alone to go to heaven. Do you understand? So I have a question for you. When should you believe in Jesus? When should you trust in him for salvation? Should you wait for 50 years? Or should you believe right now and get saved forever? Right now, right? Now, last thing. If you believe this, how do you tell Jesus that you believe? Does Jesus have a cell phone number? No. Does Jesus have a Facebook messenger? No. no. How do you talk to Jesus? Through prayer. prayer, right? So listen, I'm going to say a prayer to Jesus just to finish this. And if you believe this, if you want to trust in Jesus for salvation right now, you can pray with me. Just repeat after me. And we're going to tell Jesus that you believe the gospel and then you'll go to heaven 100% sure. Do you understand? Yes. All right, so let's pray. If you believe this, you can repeat after me. Uh, dear Jesus, dear Jesus I, know I'm a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. I know I deserve hell. I know I deserve hell. But I believe. But I believe. You died for all my sins. You died for all my sins. And rose from the dead. And rose from the dead. Please, save me. Please save me. Right now. Right now. Forever. Forever. Amen. Amen. Now, did you believe that? So, where will you go when you die? Will you go to hell or heaven? Amen. Right? Just 50% sure or 100% sure? 100% sure. Because that's what the Bible says. These things have I written unto you that. Believe on the name of the Son of God that ye may know that you have eternal life. God wants you to know that, and you can know that if you just believe the gospel, all right? And once again, you know, baptism is a good thing. Reading the Bible is a good thing. Repenting of your sins is a good thing. And after you're saved, God wants you to do those things. And God's going to bless your life. And you're going to earn rewards in heaven. And God's not going to have to punish you if you keep his commandments. But either way, you're saved forever. Okay? Does anyone have any questions? Okay. Well, thank you all for your time. God bless you. All right? Thank you. I appreciate you. I don't even think it took 30 minutes. But I appreciate the time. All right. Maybe I'll stop by again sometime. Yeah, what about you? Here's the thing, if you've noticed, I want you to know what I'm for me. Your con my contact number? Alright. I didn't know if you all would have class today. Because I know another school is on break right now. I think it's Corona. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I went there at all school. They're on holiday. We have break from that tomorrow. Oh, you're going tomorrow? Okay. Yeah, this is my name.